In this installment of five things you can use for your RV, I'm going to look at five different useful 3D printed items. This first item is for the vet line style vents. The knob is pretty high sometimes in some RVs and some people that are under six foot do have a little bit of trouble reaching it. And I'm doing this for a friend of mine who asked if I could do a 3D print of one. And I found this on Thinkiverse and it's a fairly simple gadget and once you print it you have to put a quarter 20 nut in here and by the way not all quarter 20 nuts are the same and the original one I tried was a little too big this one actually is a grade 8 nut which of course will never need a grade 8 it did fit and it's designed to go on a selfie stick quarter 20 and then you just use this as an extension to open and close the vent. Now the problem with this selfie stick is it does not have any splines on it. If you're going to go over the selfie stick you need one that does not spin. However I also found this three foot rod that's got a one quarter twenty thread on it at my local RV surplus store and this is from Valterra and it's designed as an extension for the dump valves for your waste tanks and it's about three foot long and you know this goes on just fine like this. So let's see how this works. By the way, some of these designs are mine and some are from Thingiverse. And if you go to my website, I will give you the links either to where I found them on Thingiverse or to where you can download the files that I created. Well, any of you that have an RV with this style of shower door, probably have one of these little straps and they last about a year before they break off and you can buy new ones you can buy replacement ones but they're ten bucks and they're not going to last any longer than the original one did so let's 3d print a replacement and here we have the original broken one and this is my replacement redesigned 3d printed one with much thicker sides so hopefully it will last longer and the knob just unscrews, so it's easy to take off the shower door. And we'll just put the new one on here. And I have this red flexible TPU, but you can use any color you want, of course. And it just fits into there, and then we'll just screw it in. We have the flexible strap in. And with a little handle on here, it's just easy to take off and put on. One of my previous videos I showed where I took these little rechargeable puck lights and put them upside down in the closets. Well the problem is the adhesive backing didn't really stick very well and they kept falling down. I remedied that with designing a bracket with my 3D printer and this simply just fits in here like so and it won't come out and it will come off if you got to replace the batteries because the batteries are inside here and this just screws in to the underside of the cabinet and now that we have the adapter plate screwed into the ceiling of the slide out closet and just snapping it in like that and this is a fairly popular dimmer that a lot of people are putting in their RVs for their overhead lighting and previously I did do a review of this on my website on my dimmer shootout and in that dimmer shootout and I'll provide a link here to that web page I took a black panel and this is a blank that you can buy drilled a hole in it and then cut off the two sides and that will allow this to fit in here like that and then we can put the nut back on and then of course the knob and this will fit in the panel. Now I did run across on Thingiverse somebody 3D printed one and it looks like this. And you can actually order this on Thingiverse if you can't find these blanks or if you don't want to you know chance cutting yourself with a knife because you got to hollow out the two sides then you can get this printed out. And this works much in the same way and of course you can make it any color you want. 
on my mock-up panel I've already taken the switch out of this position put the original one that I made out of the switch blank and then there is plenty of shaft in this one there we go but then this will just fit in here and the trick is just to get this started and then it just snaps in and then for your dimmer you have to buy the long shaft and this one won't fit but you get the idea and it'll go in like that and actually the fit and finish of this one is better than this and that sometimes what happens with 3d but again if there's some reason you want the 3d version then you can go with that version I should state that there's actually two of these on the website and the other one may work better it's a little bit looser fitting according to the author and so maybe it'll go on a little bit easier you know oftentimes it's hard to find just the right size switch box not anymore when you can 3D print them and this is one that I printed and it's for a toggle switch